Excuse me. Yeah. Would you mind taking a photo? Sure. I'll just wind it back to an old, old camera. Oh, yeah. Just okay. press that button there. OK. Just try and get me with the jewel. Yeah. So. Yeah? That's great. It's important that I get the... the... Will you search through the lonely earth for me? Climb through the briar and bramble. I'll be your treasure. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Oh, little stripy bath bastard. Oh. Why are you even wake at this time of year? Mate! Bloody hell! <laughs> Hello, mate! <laughs> oh, I, I won't. I've spilt a bit of coffee down the front. Sure. Uh, so, what are you doing here then? I thought you were supposed to be in Botswana. <sighs> yeah, just came back for a week, pick up some stuff. Looks like we're going to be staying a bit longer. Yeah? So, it's all going well, then? Mate, it's amazing. I've got so much to tell you. And Becky and Stan? Yeah, they're well. They're at home. Oh, I'll have to come round and say hello. I know, I meant home, Botswana home. Bloody hell. Listen to that. Even got a bit of an accent going on there. Shut up, I haven't. Yeah. But they're both well. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Thriving. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, all right. Not bad. Sure? Yeah, yeah. All good? Oh. Apart from this bloody wasp. So wasp have you been doing awake at this time of year? Strange, isn't it? Sent here to hound me. Oh, I'll tell you what. Won't see the jewel this week. It's on temporary display at the British Museum. No way, already. Mm. How's it look? Well, I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like a wild animal that's been trapped in a cage. What, you prefer it was still under the ground? Oh, I don't know, mate. I can't explain it. <sighs> they haven't even given it a name. It's called R5010 ST78. Catchy. Been prodded and poked and catalogued. Can't even remember what it felt like in my own hand. I'm giving a talk about it on Tuesday at the club. With slides. Nice one. I'll be there. There's a journalist coming down to write about it for the local rag. <laughs> You've become quite the celebrity. Oh, yeah. Thinking of bringing out a perfume range. The reward money? Oh, it hasn't come through yet, but it's all signed off. Check should be with me in the next few days. How much? Of what it would have looked like with the shaft in place. It's probably cherry or rosewood. There may have been a leather strap attached. Again, long since returned to the earth. There is talk of replacing the shaft at some point, but this is, of course, ongoing discussion. And finally, here she is, proudly in her place. Thank you, thank you. Uh, any questions? Who's that? What do you mean? It's, it's me. No, behind you. Turn up. Jesus! Oh, oh. For God's sake, Russell, I'm soaked! Oh, 
Good work, you fucking idiot. Oh, that's all the thanks I get, is it? You'd be happier in flames, would you? Uh, you're right. Honestly. Oh. I don't know why I bother oh, sometimes. Jumper. Why <laughs> jumper? I, I, I didn't see it. What did you see, Sheila? Oh, here he is. You saw it, didn't you, Lance? <clears throat> saw what? The hooded figure in the back of the picture. No, oh, you didn't see anything like that. Well, then why did you go deathly white? It was looking at you, Lance. Don't say that, Sheila. Well, I was at the wrong angle. But if Sheila says she saw something, Sheila tends to see things. What sort of things? Things that are not of this world. Oh, brilliant. That's the last thing I need right now. Ghostly hooded monk following me around. Are you all right, Lance? I've noticed you've not had anything on the finds table for months. I haven't found anything since that Astor. Yeah, but, mate, that jewel is a once in a lifetime. Nothing's ever going to compare to that. The usual buttons and... No, no, you don't understand. I have found nothing since then. Not a buckle, not a ring pull, not even scrap. I get phantom signals, really good, strong signals. They just disappear as soon as I start to dig. It's the curse of the gold. Shut up. No such thing. Don't be so sure. Remember what happened to Lenny Drinkwater when he found that Viking bracelet? He didn't fill in his hole. Beryl Cambridge steps in the hole, breaks an ankle. Brett goes gangrene. Leg comes off below the knee. Curse of the gold. Well, it's not only that. I got hay fever for the first time in my life this summer. And I started stumbling over rocks and tripping into nettles. And can't remember birdsong anymore. And, and then there's this, a wasp in December. You know the exact point it stung me? In the face. When you mentioned the reward money. Oh, it was him for a moment. So did I. Nearly shat myself. <laughs> I think you need to reconnect to the land, mate. How? I think you need to go back to basics for a while. Ditch the CTX. Go for something simpler. It's what with you. VK30? You've said it yourself. It's a good, solid detector. I don't mind trying the VK30, but... I'm not sure about you. You using the CTX. Now, come on. If this is about karma, you've got to do your bit. Fine. Mm. One Slater. Stater. I've been sent down to interview you. Oh, yeah, we were uh, expecting you earlier on in the scout hut. Oh, what's it about? What's what about? The article, what have you done? Well, don't you know? <laughs> It'll be in my notes. I've unearthed a gold at Astle. Hmm? It's been acquired by the... Oh, that's it, the pirate treasure, got it. I'm at the bar, yeah? Don't mention the curse. There is no curse. Yeah, otherwise they'll latch onto it and make that the story. Local man haunted by sinister presence. Yeah. There is no curse. So, remind me, what was it you found? A uh, late Saxon, jewelled astor. Has to be in language a ten-year-old can understand. Pardon? Can't have too many big words, uh, like Saxon. Oh, uh, what's the type of uh, jewel? Gold? Yeah. Diamonds? Uh, garnets and glass. I'll put diamonds. How much is it worth? Uh, uh, well, final valuation hasn't come through yet. Roughly. Uh, they reckon about 50,000. You get to keep all that? Half. It's split with the landowner. What are you going to buy? To buy? With the money. You're going to splash out? I haven't thought about it yet. Can we say holiday? Um... Holiday of a lifetime. Oh, OK. <laughs> Where? Uh, Dorset. I'll put Australia. OK, that's great. Cheers.
Oh. All right, Wayne. Jim about. Need him to look at my car. Jim's dead. Dead? Yeah. When? A couple of weeks back. Why didn't anyone tell me? I don't know. Why did he die off? I don't know. There's a new mechanic, Tony. Is he in? Out there. Right. Hello? Tony? Yep, hello. With an I. Pardon? It's Tony with an I. You were saying it with a Y. I wasn't. Yes, you were. I'm Lance. Nice to meet you. Oh. <laughs> yes, uh, it's about my car, TR7. Is that yours? Yeah. I love that car. Mm, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I normally do all the work on it myself. And what's the problem? She keeps misfiring. It's got me stumped. I can have a look now. There's no hurry for this. Cheers. Haven't seen you around here before. I usually do nights. I'm at college during the day. Oh, what are you studying? Agricultural college, farming. Ah, you want to be a farmer? That's the idea. I spend quite a lot of time on farmland myself. That sounds a bit creepy. I'm a metal detectorist. Oh, that's weird. What? I have no idea what one of those is. Oh, I thought you were going to say you were one too. I know. That's what I wanted you to think I was going to say. Yeah, it only happens now and then, and then mysteriously clears itself up. I was going to talk to Jim about it, but I just discovered he's checked out on us, which is bloody inconvenient. Yeah. He has ceased to be. He's expired and gone to meet his maker. He is an ex-mechanic. He was your dad, wasn't he? Yes. Yes. Yeah. See that now. You got the same... hands. Sorry about that. It's probably one of your carburettors. You reckon? Probably. I'll have a look. Want a cup of tea? No, thanks. Yeah. Oh, I almost wish I'd never found that jewel. I wish I could go back to the days before I found gold. Come on, you don't really believe there's a curse, do you? Well, something's going on. I just want to find something. Small, the usual. Buttons and buckles, the occasional coin. It's you. So you're really going to do this? Hand over the CTX. I'm up for it. Anything that gets me out from under this cloud. Probably do me good to downgrade for a bit. Prove it's not all about the equipment. Says Captain Equipment from the 25th century. Here he is, with his VK30. All right. We're going to try this baby. All right, um, you've got to make sure you get a good grip on it, all right? So, have you got it? Yeah. Don't, don't pull it, don't pull it, don't pull it. And always use the bungee for support, all right? Have you got it? Yeah. Yeah, because it's heavier than what you're used to, you see? So, have you got it? Yeah. All right, I'm going to hand it over to you now. Right, just, uh, just use the factory default settings. Don't touch any of the buttons, cos I've got all my specialist settings stored in there. All right, mate. He knows how to use a detector. Let him get on with yeah, it. Yeah, all right. Lunch to 12. OK, then. See ya. Hugh, take care of her, mate. OK.
Wait, come and see what he's found. <laughs> come and have a look, mate. You won't believe it. What you got? That's my first hammer. Eddie the second. Long cross. Congratulations. Uh, sorry, lights. Seems a bit rude. Ah, it's not your fault, mate. It's the curse of the gold. Oh, come on. You're not really swallowing that crud, are you? How else do you explain it? Proves it's me, not the detector. Like the curse of Tutankhamun. Exactly. That's well documented. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Yeah? The Egyptian gods, they were angry that they were making money from the treasures. Curse only ended when they returned his mummy to the tomb. Right, well, we don't have a mummy or a tomb to return it to, so... I have to get it back. What's that? Nothing. Right. Pub? Yeah, good. First hammer. Deserves a point. You're planning on springing it from its glass case? What? No. I'm joking. No. Wait. You were, weren't you? No. I'm joking. Twice. <clears throat> I'm Alan Chubb. I was supposed to meet you last week. Oh, right, yes. Forgot all about it. <laughs> you came quite a long way, didn't you? Uh, quite a long way, yeah. Yeah, good. Well, there it bloody well is, then. Yes. After a thousand years, Mother Earth's secret unearthed. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Not really. Just feels like she's got one less secret. I don't think I was supposed to find out. All those years under the Earth end up in a hermetically sealed glass box. Well, who's to say this is the end? This could be just another chapter in its story. It's got a fair few millennia left to go yet. Oh, I uh, spoke to the landowner this morning. He said he's received his half of the reward. I'm assuming you've got the same. What? No. Uh, I, I, do, I don't know. I left before the post arrived. Ah. Oh, Mr Roach, he got a check through the post for... Oh, me. don't... don't... don't say. Oh, why not? Uh, because uh, something bad will happen, or get an electric shock, or something will fall on us. What do you mean? Every time anyone mentions the money, something bad happens. Ah. You mean the curse of the gold? You believe in that? Look, if you're feeling bad about taking the money, then we're always open to charitable donations here. I mean, we're far too busy to worry about curses. Probably half the things in here are cursed anyway. That's why we keep them hermetically sealed in glass cases, to keep the curses in and stop you from stealing things. Oh, I wasn't good. I'm joking. <laughs> Three times. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, though, if you um, did want to give something back... I mean... Like a gift. A gift, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, thank you. Well, call my office any time. Thank you.
All right? Yeah, it's all done. It was your head gasket. Ah, oh, brilliant. Thanks a lot. Listen, uh, about the other day, sorry, I wasn't thinking. Why? What happened? About your dad. What about him? I called him an ex-mechanic. Oh, yeah. He wasn't really my dad. What? The old mechanic who died. Jim, was it? Yeah. He wasn't really my dad. I never met him. I was joking. Joking? Well, I've been kicking myself all week about that. I actually literally kicked myself at one point. Not hard enough to leave a bruise, but quite hard. It was you who said it was my dad. I just didn't deny it. You confirmed it. I asked if it was your dad, and you said yes. Did I? Yes. Sorry. Couldn't resist. It's unbelievable. I fixed your car. Thanks a lot. Uh, how much do I owe you? It's fine. You can have that one. Because of the joke. Do you want a cup of tea? Go on, then. Sugar? One, please. So, flying out tomorrow? Yep, in the evening. When are you back? Probably not till next Christmas, if the dig gets more funding. But I tell you what, mate, you should come out. Yeah, I could do, couldn't I? Absolutely, you should definitely come out. Stan would like to see you. And Becky. I might just do that. Use some of your reward money, splash out, fly first class. Uh, no, I, that's all gone. Really? What'd you spend it on? Well, not spent so much as invested. Long-term investment. Ah! Here we go. Oh, there, there. Bloody hell. What you got? Hammered. No. Big one. Half groat. There you go then, mate. The curse is lifted. It's one of the Henrys. Which one? Stand by. Henry VI, 1453, long cross. No marks on our verse. Two extra pellets on reverse. Boom. Check your hole. All clear. Replace plug. <sighs> Check. Pop. Go on, then. <sighs> so, there's this bloke at work. Wants to ask this girl out, but he's been asking me for advice. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's, he's worried in case he says no and he, he feels stupid. What do you advise him? Well, I told him he should just go for it. What's he got to lose? Absolutely. You just go for it. Yeah, that was good advice I gave him. Yeah. If she says no, no big deal. At least he asked her. So then he was asking if she said yes, where he should take her. All right, what did you say? Well, I said uh, probably just down the pub, first date. Less formal than dinner. Ah, sounds like good advice you gave him. Yeah? Yeah, I reckon. Well, I told him he, he should just try and be himself. Relax. Yeah, spot on. When's he going to ask her out? This Wednesday, I reckon. Yeah, well, tell him good luck from me. You don't know him. And Detectorist Series 1 and 2 is available on BBC DVD. And you can download it through the BBC Store and other suppliers.